evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. I was all I was all set to read Wordsworth's immortal lines on Westminster Bridge, and then I thought, uh, hang on, no, I won't do that because this is a Friday night, isn't it? In the greatest city on earth, yes. And uh, therefore, I think it is my duty, my mayoral duty, to read to you one of the best short accounts of a hangover ever to appear in English literature. Dixon was alive again. Consciousness was upon him before he could get out of the way. Not for him the slow, gracious wandering from the halls of sleep, but a summary, forcible ejection. He lay sprawled, too wicked to move, spewed up like a broken spider crab on the tarry shingle of the morning. The light did him harm, but not as much as looking at things did. <laughs> he resolved, having done it once, never to move his eyeballs again. <laughs> a dusty thudding in his head made the scene before him beat like a pulse. His mouth had been used as a latrine by some small creature of the night, and then as its mausoleum. <laughs> During the night, too, he'd somehow been on a cross-country run, and then been expertly beaten up by secret police. <laughs> he felt bad. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great evening, and it is recommended, it is recommended that you drink with moderation. Thank you.